So for my eyebrows, I just used the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow in dark brown with either a It Cosmetics Angled Liner Brush or the Anastasia Number 50. Shit. Hey, what's up guys? It's Shanae and today I just wanted to show you guys a really quick video of how I do my eyebrows. This may be useful to those of you who don't have a lot of eyebrow hairs like myself. So yeah, I'm just going to show you guys what I use and then let's get on to the video. So for my brows, I just use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow in dark brown with either the It Cosmetics Angled Liner Brush or the Anastasia Beverly Hills Liner Brush, which are essentially the same thing. Just depending on how I feel, I use either or, it doesn't matter, so any angle liner brush will do. Oh, and also thank you to Luis for letting me steal this one from you, I love you. I use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Cream Contour Palette. I just mix the colors banana and cream together to highlight my brow bone. And then I just use the Maybelline uh, Brow Drama Brow Gel in deep brown, I believe, whatever the darkest color is, and a random spoolie to brush out my eyebrows. Just a quick tip for those of you who do use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow, know that it gets really drying and it's hard to use after a while. It's just not, it's just not as creamy as it was before. So I'm just going to show you a quick tip that will help it get back to its regular consistency. I'm just going to use an old uh, Dip Brow that I have. I don't use it anymore. I'm just going to add a drop of the Josie Moran Argan Oil. So I'm just going to put two drops in this. And then just with my eyebrow brush, I'm going to mix it around. So after I've mixed that, I don't know if you guys can tell, but it is a lot more creamy and a lot more usable than it was before. Making it this consistency also helps to blend out your eyebrows when you want that ombre effect, that lighter in the front and dark in the back. So yeah, I hope that helped and then let's get on to the video. So I'm just going to brush what little eyebrow hairs I have with a spoolie, just making sure that they are all going in the same direction and this is going to help with eyebrow application. Now with an angled eyeliner brush, I'm going to outline the bottom part of my eyebrow. I'm just kind of following my natural arch and then elongating it a little bit. I like my eyebrows a little bit longer. I guess it's just a personal preference of mine. Um, but yeah, you do whatever you want to do. And then just going to do the same thing on the top. Um, outline the top of the brow, joining towards the tail end, and then tapering it out just a little bit. And then I'm going to go ahead and fill everything in, making sure I don't have any bald spots or patchiness. And this is really important to me because I don't have a lot of hair, so it's really noticeable if I end up having any bald spots. Notice that I did not fill in the front of my brow either because I'm just going to leave that empty um, to film a little bit later for an ombre effect. And taking some of the excess product off on a makeup wipe, I'm going to go in and fill the front part of my eyebrow using a really light hand and really small strokes. Doing this will help you get that really light uh, product application um, to prevent that cartoon looking eyebrow. Unless you like that look, it's totally up to you. But personally, I don't, so this is what I do. And then just taking some concealer and a concealer brush, I'm just going to highlight the my, highlight my brow bone. And this is going to help me erase any of the mistakes I've made and just carve out a really nice brow. I'm just going to go ahead and clean up the front and the top of my eyebrow as well and just remember to blend that all the way up to your forehead so that your eyebrow doesn't look too harsh or too crazy. And then last I'm just going to brush everything out with a spoolie once more and then set everything with an eyebrow gel. Alright, so that's how I do my eyebrows. I hope you guys found this video useful, if not entertaining. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments below. Whether you like them or you hate them, or whatever, they're fake anyways, I can take it. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I love you. Shit. Where did it go?